Coming up a little bit, we will bring rain into the equation, but unfortunately too much rain going along with that snow melt, so there could be some flooding issues in parts of Kentucky. I know Bowling Green just yesterday saw a few inches of snow. We even had snow in Mountain Home, Arkansas yesterday. Now it's rain. Southerly wind bringing up the moisture, bringing up the warmer temperatures from eastern Texas through Louisiana. And with those storms, some of them could pack a punch. So we've got that red on the map anywhere from Little Rock down toward the Gulf Coast into Houston. It is possible the lights can go out with those strong thunderstorms. Right now, Houston, the fog is the issue for you. We've been looking at visibility right around a half a mile, so there could be a ground stop at the airport at any time. Rain showers from San Antonio to Corpus Christi with those numbers in the low 50s. So we're going to track the showers this morning and then again later this afternoon. As we get some of that daytime heating, that's when the heavier storms will begin to erupt here across the Piney Woods of eastern Texas, getting into the parishes of Louisiana as well. Look at New Orleans. Like a fire hose pointed right at you guys for later on tonight. 8, 9 o'clock. It is going to be teeming rain with some claps of thunder. And you can see the heavier downpours even up into Arkansas and portions of Tennessee. Again, on top of snowpack in this situation. So we do have plenty of energy, lots of instability. Even tomorrow, that will be the situation. Along the I-10 corridor and even as far north as the I-20 corridor, as that rain really begins to spread out across the southeast. Strong low-level low winds too aloft. And that will aid in the development of more severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Anywhere from eastern Texas through much of Louisiana, southern Mississippi, Alabama, and even a smidge of the western Florida panhandle, you are looking at the possibility of some stronger storms. And the rainfall, that's going to add up. That darker green, one to two inches in Reynolds, that's on top of snowpack across much of Tennessee and Kentucky. Okay. Starting in the middle of the country and then ending up in the northeast. So as we take a look at a place like Chicago, winter weather advisory goes into effect tonight. Will be in effect for the overnight hours as well. And you can see why. We've got that frozen variety. Freezing rain starts up, especially later this afternoon. If you've got travel plans now, if you're flying out of O'Hare midway, no problem. Not even de-icing going on right now. Uh, but later today, that could be an issue. As you can see, winter weather advisory stretch on down towards St. Louis and all the way down through the Ozarks as well. And as far east. As Michigan, northern Indiana, as we get that freezing rain coming down, that's when it looks like innocent rain coming down. You think there's no problems. It looks like the road is just wet in front of you, but it's actually freezing on contact, especially the elevated bridges, the overpasses. Uh, that's what you really have to watch out for. The sidewalk leading up to your steps, right? That could be very slick and slippery. Uh, Detroit, here comes that rain snow line cutting through southeastern Michigan by later on tonight and eventually moves into the northeast where we've got some snowpack on the ground. Cold air at the surface, warm air coming in aloft, and that spells trouble in terms of ice accretion. As you can see, the pink does move on down the New York State Ferry, especially Pennsylvania. We're talking about some heavy ice that could be forming on your tree branches and power lines, so it's not just going to be the roads that will be a problem, but when you get into this category, quarter to half an inch of ice, power starts to go out. Reynolds. All right.